Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas. Lots to get through today. A little later on the show, Julianne and Ali will be here to reflect on Eden Hazard's first goal for Real Madrid in over a year. Plus, Jan joining us to discuss the big talking points at the run of the Bundesliga. We'll start, though, in the Premier League, where Liverpool stretched their lead at the top of the table to three points after coming from behind to beat West Ham by two goals to one at Anfield. Here to discuss it, uh, Stevie Nichol, Frank LeBeouf and Craig Burley. Uh, Craig, in the end, I suppose Liverpool just kind of ground them down, didn't they? Yeah, well, I've got all the injuries at the moment, like a lot of teams. And when you shake the bottle, it's a little flat, I suppose. And, but they're getting the job done. And, and, you know, Jota has become such a, an influential signing player for them. And it was another, I think that's three straight goals for him in the league or something like that. I mean, it's quite incredible. The ball from Shaqiri was, I, I, I can't tell you. Sometimes people talk about uh, 60, 70 yard big long balls has been great but sometimes it's those short little 10 yard passes that are the absolute peach and and that was the difference and listen Jota's taken a claim to say that front three that's been so good for Liverpool over the last two or three years but it's not quite functioning as we know it can he's taken a claim for either to be in that front three or as Klopp has done before to slightly change the shape of the side but yeah they got the job done what a signing Jota's proven to be Stevie yeah, fantastic. You know, just he times he's running behind so so well, you know, and, and the one thing that Liverpool I think got wrong today is all of the front three were posting themselves up against West Ham and it just it was getting them nowhere. And Jota coming on, he started running from deep. He wasn't sticking to anybody. Uh, and of course, as Craig said, the ball is absolutely sumptuous. Um and Liverpool deserved to win. I'll tell you what though. I was so frustrated watching this, you know, to give such a horrible goal away. Rotten header from Gomez and you go one down and that is all a team like West Ham need, just to sit tight. Eventually they got the win, but I really was frustrated. It was driving me crazy. Uh, how are your crazy levels during this game, Frank? <laughs> well, uh, as, as crazy as uh, Stevie just mentioned, you know, the thing is, um, I love Liverpool. Uh, I love watching Liverpool normally because uh, the pace of the, they give to the game is very interesting, and they and they keep on doing it for ninety minutes, which wasn't the case at all today. It was quite boring. It was inconsistent, and it was pretty slow. And um, they had to wait for uh, Jogo Jota to uh, to come on to uh, to bring some. Uh, some pace to the game and change it. And um, but I, I, I don't know if it's because Liverpool wasn't playing well or because West Ham was very well organized and didn't allow Liverpool to play their own game. But at the end of the day, well, it was good for Liverpool to win, mm. but not very nice to watch. I think I think it's a bit of both, Frank, because you know you look at this West Ham side and they've got Cresswell as a left back now playing uh, left sided centre back. Uh, so they've got a good, they've got a good shape. They've they beat Leicester away. They drew with Tottenham, mm -hmm. albeit late on with some 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 late goals. They drew with Man City, and they're almost you know barring a couple of silly mistakes. I mean the challenge from Masuaku was just crazy. I mean it just bored the line absolutely crazy, and he knew it as soon as he did it because Liverpool were going nowhere in the first half. But but they're a super well organised side, and I, I think Liverpool can thank the lucky stars that Mikel Antonio wasn't playing because. You know, Halle is just, just not cutting the mustard. I mean, he's a big old lump, but he really, apart from flick-ons, doesn't do anything. And Antonio has been a real handful. He'll, he'll muscle defenders, he'll run in behind, he'll link up play, he'll take the ball for a run. And so that was a big miss for them. But the interesting thing is, you know, I thought we were done with the big talking point was going to be the, the, the goal that was chopped off, uh, the Diego Jota's uh, first goal that was, yeah. was chopped off. And I was interested to know where the boys were going to go in this because that, that was a big call. Uh, well, let's, let, let's discuss that then, shall we? Obviously. Well, I'm, well, I was going kind to of wondering where Stevie was, what, what side of the fence Stevie was sitting on. It. Bear in mind that the game was a draw. Well, I'll I actually finished up on both sides of the fence because oh. the, first, the first twice I, th I was screaming uh, that it wasn't a free kick uh, and that it, it had come off a Bonner who tried to play it. But then when I calmed down, I got myself on the other side of the fence <laughs> and realised that actually Manny did foul the goalkeeper. So. But it worked out. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, Frank, a foul for you, kicking the goalkeeper? Well, kicking the goalkeeper, tackling Ogbona from behind, 
He could have been a red card even, you know, oh. but because he's a striker, nobody will give it to him. Oh, sure. Uh, what but, are you talking about? A red yeah, I know, card. I know, I know, but I don't want to oh, listen to anything from a Liverpool fan. I don't want to listen to any, anything from a Liverpool fan, you know, I'm sorry. I just said it You're wasn't gonna be a, blind it in that like matter. Goal. Well, that's it's obvious, obvious you know, you, 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 shouldn't be, you shouldn't be silly with us if you only say that it's, a, it's not a foul, you know, I mean, that's crazy. Well, Frank, that's it's obvious. easy for him Come to on. say that now, because if, if Jota hadn't scored that late goal, he would have probably have been sitting there crying about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.